Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Indy 500, Coca-Cola 600, Shell V-Power Nitro Plus, and more. This is episode 71 of the Humble Mechanic Podcast. <laughs> So a few weeks back, the folks at Shell invited Jason from Engineering Explained, Todd from F1 Blog, and myself out to do the double, which means watch the Indy 500, then fly to Concord and watch the Coca-Cola 600 in Charlotte. In addition to that, we had a sneak peek at Shell's new V-Power Nitro Plus fuel. It was an incredible weekend to say the least between all the racing and all the really cool fuels technology that we got to check out. So the weekend actually started for me Friday evening when I flew into Indianapolis, had a couple beers with Jason, which is always a good time. The real deal started on Saturday morning. We headed to the track early for breakfast, then got a private tour of the garage with Mr. Penske and Mr. Sindrick from Team Penske. They took a few minutes out of their busy day to talk to us about some of the technology in the steering wheel of Indy cars, which we're going to check out now. Yeah, yeah. 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 it goes up to eight, eight different spots. So okay. you'll hear slot eight or map eight, depending on the lingo. Okay. And basically, they're going from you know full rich, and mm -hmm. you'll have you know, three to four settings at a certain boost level, mm -hmm. and then you'll have three or four settings the same fueling at another boost level. Oh, okay. And the, the difference is you're trying to, there's a big penalty for um, over boost. So if you're following, typically you'll end up with an over boost situation because you'll end up with the air from the other car. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Going up. Uh, okay. And then you'll hear us go to slot eight or map eight or whatever, which is a yellow mileage map. So under yellow, you go to six gear, you're saving fuel because you'll make about 10 miles a gallon under yellow. Oh, okay. So it's quite okay. different. You also hear a, a dash, you will tell them dash one, dash two, or whatever. Uh -huh. that, that's your ignition advance. So they're looking at knock throughout okay. the race, and you're, you're trying to maximize uh, where your knock situation is. Aside from that, you've got your clutch and your paddle shift on the back side. So you get your clutch and your shift paddles in the back. And then uh, you get all the normal things here in terms of it's neutral. Crazy to think how much stuff has to go on inside of a race car and how much of it is really controlled on the steering wheel. Way more going on than my Passat steering wheel has. So after spending the morning at the track, we went back to the hotel for our fuels demonstration. We were joined by Vinod, one of Shell's research and development project leaders in the fuel technologies world. We got to see all kinds of cool stuff about Shell V-Power Nitro Plus, and I was able to get some really cool footage for you guys. So this is the port fuel injection case, uh, port fuel injector intake manifold. So we talk about protection against gunk. You see the, the fuel directly sprays onto the intake valve. Okay. Uh, there's mixture, induction, valve closes, compression, spark, exhaust, power exhaust, right? Um, so with lower quality gasolines with the uh, fuel injection, if it doesn't have that, doesn't have uh, the kind of quality detergents that, that are featured in Shell V-Power Nitro Plus, uh, you'll start to get the development of carbonaceous gunk on the valve. What Shell V-Power Nitro Plus is designed to do is with the detergent package to keep those valves clean. And of course, along with that, it's also keeping the fuel injector clean. In the direct injection case, the, the fuel doesn't see the valve. The intake valve opens, the fuel injects and mix, mixes. So we don't see the, uh, the intake valve um, or at least the fuel doesn't have that same impact on the, on the intake valve. But the injector face itself is experiencing very hot temperatures and very high pressures. Mm -hmm. The additive package has to withstand those kinds of thermal conditions, basically. Um, so in a direct injection case, especially they are designed because uh, the manufacturer is going for close metering of the fuel, close control of the fuel-air mixture. So you really don't want any disturbances to that, to that, um, to that design, and so uh, our detergents are designed to keep this clean, so it operates as it's originally intended by the manufacturer. Going to uh, gunk. So what we've done, what I've got here, is at Shell we've uh, run vehicles. These two valves actually came out of um, our tests, so these are from real testing uh, after 5,000 miles. So on the left side we have. Um, that's a competitor premium gasoline. This is a U.S. market uh, competitor, um, over 5,000 miles, and, and in a relatively short amount of time, you've got a significant amount of gunk buildup. With the Shell V-Power Nitro Plus gasoline, we offer unbeatable protection against gunk. Translation of that is you can't get cleaner than clean. So 
these valves look exactly the same. So they, these are tested in identical engines. I mean, not the exact engine, obviously, but it's the same type. They're they are matched pairs of or matched vehicles, mm -hmm. matched sets of vehicles that we test these in. Okay. Uh, so these would have come out of uh, the exact same uh, vehicle model. What I'll talk about next is what brings Shell V Power Nitro Plus above and beyond um, the competition. V Power Nitro Plus offers unbeatable protection against corrosion. So as part of that formulation, as part of that um, innovative additive package, uh, there is a component designed to protect against corrosion. So to demonstrate that, we've tested our Shell V Power Nitro Plus against uh, competitor fuels in an industry standard test. So we use industry standard tests in addition to, uh, um, to specialized tests to, to demonstrate the benefits of our products. So this is an industry standard test that uh, evaluates the corrosion properties of, of fuels. Just to kind of give you an idea of what, uh, what we have here, on the far left side is um, it's a metal spindle specimen. That's the base specimen. The middle is Shell V-Power, the spindle after testing with Shell V-Power Nitro Plus. And this has uh, been tested against a competitor fuel. So, I mean, it's a very clear v visual demonstration of, you yeah, know, this is basically rust. So in the vehicle, what are those components meant to simulate? You know, moisture can be present in the fuel, so it is meant to simulate anything from the fuel pump, fuel Filter. injectors, okay. yep, uh, possibly even into the, uh, into the cylinder itself. We talked a lot about um, almost preventative maintenance, so from nothing, comparing where, what about someone at say 40,000 miles yeah. that decides to make the switch, they have direct injection, they already are dealing with carbon buildup, cold start misfires, um, not only in the cylinder, the on the injector yeah. tips, on the piston third, crowns, third, but on the backs yeah. of the valves as well. Yeah. How yeah. does this, the, the nitro interact at that point when there's already been um, negative consequence due to maybe low quality fuel early on or poor driving characteristics? Um, in, in an engine at say 50,000. Sure. The, so from the standpoint of the detergent, so Shell V Power Nitro Plus has been shown to clean up instantly, to act instantly, um, to uh, <laughs> <laughs> sound effect, ta -da! I have the answer, ta-da! What timing. Yeah. Accumulated gunk, Charles as you put it, um, possibly with a lower quality gasoline, accumulated gunk on the back of valves. With Shell V Power Nitro Plus, you start to uh, to remove those deposits, you know, like on average, sixty percent within the first tank. Sixty so percent sounds like an incredible claim. It's, uh, it's a big number. It's a big number, and that's what? injector tips and piston crowns. That particular number is in intake valves, but the Real, on but port injection on or? port. Okay. Um, but in terms of the the trend or the effect, it would have obviously a, a cleanup effect on in injectors as well. But the 60% specifically is around, the average of 60% is specifically around intake valve deposits. So in terms of cleanliness, that's something that Shell V Power Nitro Plus can address is cleaning up um, the valves. After learning about the new fuel, we had a really cool Q&A with the Penske team drivers. And the big question on all our minds was, what is your milk selection if you win? Check out a link to uh, Jason from Engineering Explains video asking them that exact question. Sunday was all race day. That was my very first Indy 500. I've been to an Indy race before, but the 500 is such an amazing event. It is really the spectacle of racing. And I will say that it definitely didn't hurt that one of the Team Penske drivers won. After the end of the race, we took a jet to Concord to watch the Coca-Cola 600. We were actually running a bit late, so we missed some of the beginning things of the race. But this was actually my very first NASCAR race as well. I gotta say, at that track, it was really hard to follow uh, who was in the lead, who was in last place, how many people had lapped each other. But still, the feel, the sights, and the sounds of the NASCAR race were incredibly cool. You know, when you're watching it on TV, you really don't appreciate how fast these cars really are going. It isn't until you're standing trackside where you truly understand the speed these cars achieve. So there you have it. We've learned a lot about racing. We've learned a lot about fuel. If you have any questions or comments, post in the comment section below. Hey, quick shout out to Shell and UEG for an incredible weekend. Thank you guys so much for letting Jason, Todd, and I come out, learn about fuel, and catch a couple of races. It was truly an incredible experience. 
Hey, if you liked the video, throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at HumbleMechanic.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the blog, and obviously here on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to check out Jason's video. He has some similar footage, but probably goes way more in depth about the fuel technology than I did. So I will be sure to put a link down below for you guys. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.